In this quick video, I'll be showing you how you can see your FPS while playing CS2. Since its release, a bunch of things have changed, and now most recently, the net graph as well, meaning it's time to make another one of these videos. If you want to know what performance you're getting in CS2, this video is going to show you exactly how to do it in 2024. Even on the main menu, you can see my FPS in the top left corner. This green text over here is actually the Steam overlay, probably one of the easiest ways to get this in-game. Simply hit Shift Tab to open up the Steam overlay, then head across to the Settings section down here, and in this new window, under the In-game section, you can simply find In-game FPS counter. Set this to one of the corners of your screen. So I've chosen top left. Then make sure you enable high contrast color by ticking this here. When you do so, it'll go from a unreadable gray to a bright green. This makes it super easy to see while you're playing the game. Obviously, this doesn't give us anywhere near as much information as third party tools such as River Tuner, but unfortunately, CS2's ANSI cheat and rules against overlays means that we can't really use something like that, especially in competitive play, keeping our trust factor green. However, there was only one, and now there's two commands to show our FPS in game. Let's quickly get in so I can show you exactly what it is. Quickly hopping into a bot match, what we can do is in the console, using tilde, use the show FPS command. This is really good for debugging how the game works, but it's not really viable for competitive play. It's got tons of information, but you'll see why it's not really viable. If I use CL, underscore show FPS space followed by a number for which we can choose I think there's a few options zero is disabled one enables it and you can see the total FPS as well as the map name it takes up a bunch of the screen but you haven't seen anything yet if we change this one to a two it adds a ton more information including averages over 60 240 and 1000 frames so we can see our FPS average frame time which is how many milliseconds it takes to make a frame as well as some information about the server etc there's a ton of information here and having this much while you're playing competitively is definitely not something we can do. Instead, I'll set this back down to zero and show you the brand new third and final way that we can show our FPS in 2024, at least for now. What you'll do is hit escape, head across to your options in the top left, and assuming you're watching this really soon, on the new tab, you'll find a telemetry option. Simply click go to settings. This will take you across to the game tab and scroll you down to telemetry. This is the brand new section. What you'll do is change show frame time in FPS from if conditions are poor or never to always. When you choose always, you'll see text in the top right corner of your screen showing you your current FPS. It doesn't update nearly as much as the show FPS command, but it's really good. And right next to that, AMS. That's how many milliseconds it takes to make one frame and show it on your screen. So the higher the milliseconds are, the more input latency you'll have, etc. even if your FPS is super high. It's great for diagnosing problems and knowing when CS is getting as much of your PC as it can with the rest of your background programs closed, for example. On top of this, this brand new option allows us to enable ping, so I'll choose always, and show packet loss and missed delivery. This allows us to see how well our internet is doing. Obviously, I'm hosting this myself, so there shouldn't be any packet loss, or ping for that matter. I've got zero ping, 0% 0 packet loss inbound and outbound. That's it, it's super simple. Steam is the absolute smallest and stays out of your way while you're playing the game. The brand new option is in the top right and takes a ton more space. And finally, the third option is really only good for debugging in offline maps, etc. Anyways, hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you for watching, mine has been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.